Hey everybody, another month is almost over. That means it's time for a fan mail unboxing. With a pin. Oh, yeah. With a pin. Oh, this is a weapon right here. This is a very deadly weapon if you're fighting a very small foe. Like gay, gay laid, gay laid. Yeah! Ah! So, um, what have you guys been up to this morning? Watching Monsters Inc. And... More interestingly... Art. Art. With painting. They've been painting is what they've been meaning to say. They've been painting all morning, so if it looks like there's paint on Chloe's tell. face, like that's a, because there's paint like on Chloe's my, face. And on my hands, but I yep. washed them before I came up here. So, let's kick things off. We've got a package from Tyler... Uh, Tyler... Verdon. Uh, thank you so very much. Um, your name sounds like Tyler Durden, so I had to stop and pause for a second. I was like, Tyler Durden? Wait, what? 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 Um, but it's Verdon with a V. So it is spelled differently. Hopefully, okay. there's not going to be anthrax. Hopefully, the there's dust not. from last Ho video. Hopefully, there's not going <laughs> to be the dust. <laughs> yeah, dust. Since I don't vacuum, it took a long way time for all of that to decompose into the universe. So we have a note. I will read the note really quick. All right, so Tyler said he's been watching my movies for a while now, and his favorite movie is Back to the Future. We'll get, we'll get there just a second, Cole. We'll get there just a second. His favorite movie is Back to the Future. We actually watched the third act of Back to the Future 3 with the choo-choo, what, like a week ago, two weeks ago? Maybe like last week. Yeah, so back when he was young, we used to watch that one all of the time. We called it Daddy Choo Choo, and we watched oh, that one. But you guys haven't actually watched through the Back to the Future movies, have you? Um, we have watched the Back to the Future mo movies. It's just been like um, a long time. Yeah, it's just been a long time. All right, so he had some some gifts in there. First one is the Steel Book for Zombie Land, and that is cool. And still um, works. Do you like zombies? Yeah. Well, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Um, so this is like a zombie comedy where it's like real funny, but they're like battling zombies. It's it's pretty amazing. That looks like the symbol of the game I used to play on Xbox, the one where like you needed to shoot the marbles to the right hoops. Yes. Things. And then we also have storks in here. So little something for me involving zombies getting shot in the face, and, and something for the whole and marbles in the face, and. Something for the whole family to watch. We the movie watch Storks. That in the library for some reason. You've seen Storks? Yeah. So they've seen. I haven't seen Storks. So you guys have seen it. Um, they watched that one at school. I don't. I didn't attend their school, so I did not get to see that one. Tyler, thank you so much, Liam. If you can cut this right here with this dangerous knife. I said. Library. Oh my my. I said a library. La library. What did I say? Liam, I said school. Liam oh, right, so you didn't you didn't watch it at your school? You watched it at the public library. Yeah, but that was like a long time ago. Oh. Like, oh. Uh, like Hazel Long. Oh, Hazel. gotcha. Okay, so with your friends. Yeah. Okay, we got a note here. This is from Austin St. Pierre. Got to read this one. Um, so Austin mentioned this movie to me, Ragamuffin, in my Instagram discussion that I was having with him. He decided he would just send it to me. If you're unfamiliar with this, it's Ragamuffin's The Life Story of Rich Mullins. If you don't know who Rich Mullins is, he was like a legendary Christian songwriter from back in the 80s and the 90s. And he died like in a in a car crash, very suddenly. I mean, it was a car crash, so it was sudden, but it was just out of the very tragic story because he, he wasn't very old. He was still writing great songs. And um, he was someone that very much lived out his faith. And so was always, um, he lived a very modest life, even though he, he was a wildly successful songwriter. He just gave all of his money away to these different charity groups and things like that. And I believe he worked a lot with, um, uh, um, Native Americans. Um, I don't remember the, the exact details on it off the top of my head. But so this is basically his life story, um, which I, I I know the summarized version of the two. You can read in a couple paragraphs on Wikipedia. But, um, and I remembered a lot more of it back in the 90s because I owned a bunch of his albums and you know, sang a bunch of his songs at church. But so, very cool, very much appreciated. Um, That's all good. Guests of War, <laughs> awesome. we have more guests of War Machine than Hulk. They dance. Where did you guys even get those from? Gigi and Papa gave them to us. They just hold on to old McDonald's toys? Yeah. 
okay? Because that's like a three-year-old, I was about to stab him with this knife. It's a three-year-old McDonald's toy. Okay, Chloe, slice this, not my finger. <laughs> nice, that, that all nice. the way through. Just cut that right in half. First things first. Katarina seems, seems to be hungry. Okay, got a little note, gotta read it. What was that? So this is from Brian Potter. Thank you very much. And it is Train to Bouchon. And great timing on this one because the, the sequel, I guess, Peninsula just dropped on the video rental stores. I've never seen this movie. I've only heard fantastic things about it. It sounds like something that I would thoroughly enjoy. And I've been trying to like find a way to, I haven't done a good job of this, but I'm trying to find a way to do more kind of foreign reviews and some of these smaller films. Um, while we don't have new releases coming out. So this could be a great opportunity and it's the Steelbook. So it's even like a nice fancy version of it, which is very cool. So um, very greatly appreciated. And given that I can now check out Peninsula nice and safely, maybe I'll have a double feature in the near future. Actually, I my schedule is cleared up a little bit. I, the last month I've been trying to prep for that Star Trek video I did that I decided to do last minute. The Liam Neeson one that I've been kind of decided to do somewhat last minute. And then the 31 on 31. So that's 50 movies I had to watch for videos that I put out in the last two weeks. That's a lot of movies. So that's eaten up all of my movie watching time and I intentionally for November don't have much of that other than DreamWorks much clearer and DreamWorks is much easier to watch because I can watch with them. Little backstory but so it gives me the opportunity a lot of these movies you said to me to actually check them out which I haven't been able to do recently. This Thank one's you. got a little weight to it. This is kind of interesting. Yeah, it's not how track. I picked it up and I was about to th throw it way over there but it's like that's really heavy. Okay, cut that right there. Not me. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Did you, did you, you want to feed it? Put it in the mouth? All right. So this is the people that have sent me some other educational things in the past and called me an education pad and several other books. Um, so here we have these are old, man. These are like the ones I had when I was growing up. Man, that is a throwback. Let's see if the publication date on these. Like at the desk? Um. Maybe it was on the couch. Man, I don't. I, I didn't I see a public. Like, I don't know if they're the. Okay. I think those are the s <laughs> two copies of the same book. Maybe it's for me and Liam. And then an actual cassette tape recorder. With the Bambi book so you can read along. That is wild <laughs> and like transported back to my child right here. Very cool. Uh, and then of course Chloe's cookie is in here too. So thank you guys so much uh, for continuing to send uh, these various different uh, educational products and stuff that I can check out with my kids. We do story time every night, so <laughs> we can depress them with the story of Bam Bambi's kind of a, it's a downer, but it, it, it is a classic. We also did, last night I just finished the wishes. You did finish The Witches, very cool. All right, here's one. I actually had this one for a little bit. And you want to cut cut the package with this? I think it's plastic. That doesn't make any sense, boy. He only lets out his, bl his blade when he feels dangered. Okay. <laughs> Whew! Holy guacamole! Whoa, why is there candy We got chips? Smart Teas, Coffee Crisps, whatever tea he is. We got ketchup flavored Lay's. Man, Lay's is going pretty wild with the different C flavors on this stuff. <gasps> CD is macaroni. And we've got a note, gotta read the note, and then I'll, I'll look at the movies we got in here. It's from Andrew Paxton, and I am reading, so we'll take a little bit. So this is Andrew Paxton, he is Canadian, so he wanted to send something just a little bit different, so he sent a pair of Canadian action movies, kind of Canadian buddy cop films that I guess, uh, like you're wandering off camera. Uh, for people in Canada are familiar with them, but they're not as known in the US, and so sent me the pair of them for me to check out since he knows that I like action movies. 
Um, I do recognize this actor from a whole bunch of different things. So very cool. It's always fun when you can find out like even little differences between, um, you know, United States cinema and Canadian. There are little tweaks and differences. So I, I haven't heard of these ones, so I'm very interested to check them out. Thank you guys so much, everyone that said something. Um, means the world to me that you would take the time, care enough what I would respond to something, writing me notes and everything. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. Liam, did you have some final thoughts for the people? Uh, real quick, Gayle just told me... Um, he, uh, the card was talking to you. He actually said, told me he watched these movies He before. did. Real quick, can we also tell them what happened last week? What happened? I don't even know what happened last Monday. week. Monday. Oh, wait, well, that's getting depressing. Okay, sure. I thought... Okay. Bo sadly died last month. Probably, last, I mean, last probably Monday. Probably can talk to them. Yeah, our, our dog died last week. Wow, totally wrong music cue there, Chloe. Kind of not reading the room. <laughs> So. It, wasn't, it wasn't me, it was hurt. He was trying to break that memory from, from all the hours of mine. Oh, it's, I think it's working. <laughs> Whoa! Tonally, I don't think they're they're processing properly. I think it so anyway, our dog was 13 years old, and it was pretty dramatic. It, I mean, it was he was fine Sunday afternoon, and by lunch Monday, he, he, he died. Literally while we were driving to the vet in the vehicle. It was that dramatic, so... Yeah, that's why I didn't have a lot of videos last week and trying to get back on the game this week and um, um yeah. What are you get, talking get, about? That didn't happen. Yeah, I think the spell worked on Chloe mostly. Mm. Yeah, probably. So let's end on that happy note right there. Uh, tomorrow, Liam and I will be sharing our thoughts on The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 1. So come back for that and keep talking fan mail too much? That doesn't even make any sense. I, I started that sentence without knowing where it was going. Did you have some final words for us? Uh, no, maybe Chloe does. <coughs> or the cat, you know, what the cat say? Uh, the cat just, gets the final word. She just said, don't worry. She just said, said eat fish, they're healthy. Goodbye. <laughs>